Hello, um, today I want to introduce the new Vulcan FC500 flatbed cutter to you. Um, Vulcan is a new brand for digital finishing products like flatbed cutters and uh, other products that will be available in the future. Um, and it will be distributed exclusively uh, through us in Europe. Um, the Vulcan machine, as you can see here, it comes with uh, two tools. Usually you will be using one creasing tool and one cutting tool. Um, it comes with a uh, touch screen operation. So I'm just going to switch on the machine. As you can see, the whole operation is done through that uh, touch screen control. When you're switching it on, it will reset and automatically uh, move to the lower left position. Now, here in the touch screen, we can see the operating panel, which is uh, made very simple. So it's very, very easy to use the machine. Um, on the left hand side, you can see the uh, cursor keys where you can move the cutting head, which we're going to do now. As you can see, the cutting head is moving. Now, as you see, it is rather slow. So usually when you want to reach a position very quickly, uh, here you can adjust between uh, the speed so from one if you just touch it it will move to 10 and then we have very fast operation speed so it's moving to the left and right very quickly so with the cursor keys we can easily move the machine and uh, here in the settings we can adjust different settings we can calibrate the machine we can uh, adjust the offset we have a so-called cutting mode setting where we can switch between normal mode, precision mode and high speed mode, depending on your requirements. If we go um, back into the main touch screen, in the next setting, we can adjust speed and force, which is done very easily through these uh, sliders. So you can set the speed, uh, which is a maximum of 600 or 700 uh, millimeters per second and a downforce of maximum 600 gram. You can adjust that for both tools. As you can see from the logos, the one is supposed to be the creasing tool and the other one is uh, the cutting tool. So just uh, easily adjust it here. The vacuum pump will be activated when you push the vacuum button, um, which will of course increase the noise. Let's see that. Now we can hear the vacuum pump and um, it is supplied with the machine. You can see it below the machine and with another click on the vacuum logo which will automatically uh, switch off. In order to do a test cut uh, we just click the test cut option and the machine will do a test cut. At the moment we don't have any media inside the machine so that's why it didn't really cut anything but once we put some media in the machine we can easily uh, test if our knife settings are correct for the material that we're currently using. In the middle, we have a pause button here. Um, when the machine is operating, you can easily pause it if you need to adjust something or in case something goes wrong. Um, here, we, as you can see, there's a small USB drive uh, where you can click and there you can access the file system of a small USB thumb drive that is installed in the machine. So you can just plug it in and have your PLT files uh, and cut from there. So this way you don't need a computer to actually operate the machine. And for example, if your computer is too far away from the machine, you can just uh, put your data on the USB thumb drive, go to the machine, plug it in and uh, start working without the computer. Um, in the lower section, there are three more symbols. We have the recut option. So if you have uh, exactly the same job uh, to be cut multiple times, you can just uh, easily press recut and it will do the same job. So it will store the data in the machine. And uh, then here we have two more options, which is move to origin and setting the origin point. So um, if I set the origin point at a certain position, so usually at the lower left, say set origin. And then if I move somewhere else or if the machine has uh, finished cutting by pressing the uh, move to origin, it will automatically move back to the origin position. This is also very helpful for uh, recutting. So once you've done a job and you're doing the same job, you just insert it, click move to origin and recut and 
this way you can continuously cut uh, without needing to reposition everything again. The machine uh, has uh, an integrated CCD camera for the registration mark detection, which is uh, more precise and especially a lot faster than uh, a regular detection with an infrared sensor. It's also more versatile because it enables reverse creasing functionality. Now, what does reverse creasing mean? With uh, many machines uh, or many flatbed cutters, you often have the problem if you want to crease a printed material, um, you'll get cracking and very bad results because the creasing goes right through the print itself. Uh, in order to solve that problem, uh, we have this reverse creasing functionality. So you put in the media, um, the camera will recognize the registration marks, which are small black uh, dots. And then it will actually cut the registration marks in the first step, so they will fall out. And then you just turn the material around and the holes that were created will now uh, function as new registration marks to cut from the back. And then you send the same job again. The software will automatically mirror the job to compensate for the switched material. And then you do the actual creasing from the back and not from the front. So uh, the print on the front of the material will not be uh, affected at all. It will not crack and you will have great results. So this is perfect if you have a high quality material like small boxes or some luxury material that you want to cut. Um, that's what the reverse creasing function is for. As you can see from the panel, all functions are very easily accessible. So there are no complicated menus. You have this touch screen control. Uh, which will help you to adjust everything uh, very easily. The machine uh, can be used with the sign cut software that comes with the machine. Um, in order to use sign cut, you will uh, need Illustrator or Coral Draw, and then you can just um, integrate sign cut into the software. So if you have a workflow using Illustrator or Coral Draw, it's very easy to. Uh, use it with sign cut. So you just click on the sign cut logo and then it will automatically open your file in sign cut and then you can easily send it to the machine. Another option uh, is the draw cut software. Draw cut also fully supports this machine. So you can um, easily create your data in draw cut. If you're already working with draw cut, uh, you can use your existing data. And uh, for example, if you download a bitmap file, and you want to trace it, uh, it's very easy to do that in DrawCut. And then you can also send it from DrawCut to the machine. Uh, DrawCut also has the option to save the data as the PLT file on your USB thumb drive. Um, and then you can just uh, use only the, the USB drive, which uh, will help you make it very easy to work without the computer. Uh, the blue bottom mat where you put on your material, um, it's a double-sided mat. So uh, after a few months, when cutting into the material, um, you might need to replace it. Uh, but before you need a fully new mat, what you can easily do is just take it out and then turn it around. And as you can see, it looks exactly the same way uh, on the back as it does on the front. So you can basically uh, use the mat twice. So it just fits in like that very easily. And then you can uh, reuse that mat. There's also a gray felt mat available that's recommended for creasing material. Okay, so in order uh, to start a cut, here we have our uh, printed uh, collection of pumpkins because it's uh, Halloween tomorrow actually. So um, I just put it in. Uh, there are those lines on the cutting mat that help you uh, to align the material properly. But of course the machine will compensate uh, automatically in case you don't align it perfectly. Um, now the light here is on and uh, what we need to do first is uh, set the origin point and therefore we just need to position the blade holder above um, the lower left uh, black dot. So um, I'm just going to move it here. I'm going to switch to speed one for an easy exact positioning. It doesn't need to be positioned perfectly because the camera will recognize it anyway. So I'm just push the origin and uh, what we need to do next is activate the vacuum pump for the operation and then uh, start the cutting. So here I just click the cut logo, here I click start and then 
there is a final uh, uh, question uh, to continue cutting. So when I click start here, it will automatically uh, recognize the cutting mark. This is very fast due to the camera. And then it will start cutting. Okay, so uh, now we are finished uh, with the actual cutting, so we can just stop the vacuum pump. And uh, yeah, now we have our our pumpkins cut out. So as you can see, they're very smoothly cut. That's the way it should be. They easily fall out of the material. And there we have our set of pumpkins uh, for Halloween tonight. Of course, the machine comes with an emergency safety switch. So whenever uh, you run into problems or uh, if the material is stuck inside the machine or you can see that the cutting goes wrong at any time you can just hit the emergency switch and the machine will fully switch off will be completely out of power so um, there's nothing that can happen and uh, in order to turn it on again of course you just uh, rotate the emergency switch here and then the machine will uh, go into reset below the machine there's the um, there are the connectors you have a USB and uh, you have basically two USB ports, one to connect the machine to the computer and the second one to insert your uh, USB thumb drive. Um, the Vulcan vinyl flatbed cutter um, it has a black matte finish, a very high quality finish. Also the stand, it's a very solid stand uh, with, a, with a nice black finish. Um, due to the CCD camera that recognizes the crop marks, uh, the cutting is very efficient. So it's very, very fast to recognize the registration marks and the cutting process itself with uh, 700 millimeters per second uh, is extremely fast as you can see in the video. So um, it's the perfect machine for highly efficient production of uh, digital finishing, of uh, creasing and cutting media. And uh, we think it's a perfect uh, economic and efficient uh, solution for uh, these types of applications.